now we are recording hello everyone welcome to the joe logan podcast how are we all doing i hate how you start off with that <laughs> it, anyways I'm, I'm, I'm the, we're gonna start for real this time um welcome to this episode of talking pixels <laughs> wow <laughs> And we're gonna be discussing our thoughts uh, on the Silent Hill 2 remake. I'm here with my uh, with my very good friend, Doug Suggs, or or you may know him as Logan. How you doing? How you feeling? Uh, yeah, I'm very excited about this remake. As many people know, I'm 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 really you know hooping and hollering. Yeah, you, you're I'm like, so excited. You were shitting your pants with so much excitement when they first announced it. I was there. Yeah, that's what that was. It was excitement. <laughs> All right. Well, we should talk about like our first, uh, like like our introduction to Silent Silent Hill, like how we first heard of it. So I'm just gonna pass it off to you. Me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I I don't know what it was. Don't don't worry about that. That was just the voices. I know my first introduction to Silent Hill was not from the game itself, but from the soundtrack. I don't remember exactly what song it was. It was either Theme of Lore or Betrayal. I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't go back that far. But the music just, it stood out in my head. I was like, I've never heard anything like this before. What the fuck is this? And then, this is when I was like very young. Also, is when I was like. <sighs> like 11 or 12 I don't know I was like I don't know what this sounds like it sounds weird but I'm kind of into it and I looked it up and it said Silent Hill OST of the second game variety and I was like that's interesting but I have no means of playing that so that'll be a future me problem and yeah it was most just me listening to the soundtrack and I did get spoiled of the game very quickly because I just was looking into more stuff about it, but it didn't really hinder my experience at all. It was most just a soundtrack that I was obsessed with at the time, and then the games came out. Well, they didn't come out. I can't speak, but <laughs> yeah, I played them. I started with two, went from there. I was like, this is pretty lit. Nice. Nice. Uh... And that's my scatterbrained explanation of my introduction to Silent Hill. How, how I walked in, how I sauntered in, I was like, Yo, is this, uh, Silent Hill? It's crazy. These hills are not silent. Yeah, they're yapping. Yapping Hill. Yapping Hill. Real. Uh, so how I first got introduced to, to Silent Hill, uh, I was, I was watching, like, so many, like, fucking like game reviewers like so call me johnny or like uh let's say john tron they they keep like shadow dropping like resident evil or like how silent hill is like the scariest like franchises that they ever played and yeah it's like so i was aware of them for for the longest time then uh, then my story is like similar to yours like it was uh 2022 i was like god damn i'm horribly depressed and i just like you know boot up spotify because i i try to like listen to music so i can like get some sleep because at the time i was an overnight security guard and then uh randomly the silent hill 2 soundtrack played i was like oh fuck and, and i think i i think i texted you uh, later it's like yo you heard of this game he's like yes play two it's the best one <laughs> and uh yeah that's that's how I first heard of Silent Hill 2, and, uh, yeah. Lucky Bastard got to listen to the music while I was on Spotify. For the longest time, it was not on Spotify. I think it literally got added to Spotify on 2020, like, at, during 2022. Oh, damn. It was, like, the only fucking soundtrack that was available on Spotify was fucking Homecoming. I was like, I don't want to listen to shit. Or... Don't you want to listen to, like, Silent Hills from, like, uh, Downpour, from that new metal band? We, we already have, like, this, uh, this talking point here where we, where we share, like, our first Silent Hill game. We, uh, you guys already know that, you know, it was Silent Hill 2, but we can talk about, like, how we feel about the game. Uh, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite 
game of all time, at least in terms of like games as an art form. Because I don't know, all time favorite game is like really difficult to judge because there's a difference between like what I consider to be the best and what I consider to just be like my favorite that I could just go to whenever. Because Silent Hill 2 is not really a game I can go to at any time, but in terms of like artistic statement, like really taking advantage of the medium of gaming to tell a story, like an interactive story that has like a lot of weight to it with a lot of different elements that work together pretty much perfectly. Silent 2 is probably like the best I've played to this day in terms of that, and not much has really come close. And I know it's a cliche answer, but you know, fuck you. <laughs> uh yeah, I like to agree. I, I I never like really played something like that. It's just like yeah, I played games where, you know, this is like supposed to be a cinematic experience. But Silent Hill 2 like the was the naughty dog experience? Shut up! <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's just something about Silent Hill 2 where it just feels like it feels like a once in a lifetime type of game. It's just like fuck. <laughs> like Exactly, you're right. <laughs> and it's, it's just so good. I, I can't really put it into words because I'm horrible at explaining things, but Silent Hill 2 just really resonated with me. It's just like it's a it's a good fucking game and uh I only go back to it when, you know, you know, when you when you feeling when you feeling blue, you you want to play Silent Hill 2. You can play like any other Silent Hill game like 1 3 4 it, it, any other day of the week, but you have to be like in a certain mood to play like two. It's kind of like watching Avon Gillian. You have to be in a certain mood to like watch it. <laughs> I'm, you know, you know I'm correct. You know I'm correct. Oh, I know. It's just <laughs> I never thought we'd have Silent Hill two compared to Avon Gillian. <laughs> Get in the hotel, James. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, next uh, was is our initial thoughts on the Silent Hill two remake once we. Once we first heard about it, that from the Silent Hill transmission, like the first one, and it was funny because you were over at, at our place, and uh, coincidentally, I got the, I got my copy of Silent Hill 2, the Xbox version, and we decided, oh, well, why not? Let's just w wait and check out the Silent Hill 2 transmission. And you was like, they better not have like fucking remake Silent Hill 2, and you was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. <laughs> You're. You are not happy. I was like, oh, hey, this yeah. is pretty cool. I haven't played the game yet. I haven't played the game yet. It was just, I was still like holding it like sealed. Oh, hey, <laughs> this is interesting. I thought I got spoiled for a second because they were showing clips of like the original game. It's like, did I get spoiled? He was like, no. No, nah, if you if you get to get spoiled, I would have personally flown to uh, Konami headquarters and uh, I would have said very mean things and flown back. You're inadequate. <laughs> yeah. Your dad's stupid. <laughs> Your grandma's dumb. I know that you you're you're the Silent Hill guy, so I know your thoughts were like negative, but we're Silent Hill guys. I can't. I, I didn't. <laughs> I just can't. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, uh, can, can we get some more like insight, like how you felt when you like uh, when we? I first... hated it. I think it was shit. What? Fucking. <laughs> okay. So, let me... Let me format this in a way that makes sense. Because I personally do not see a reason for Silent Hill 2 to get a remake. Uh, let alone a remake like that. If you want to remaster it and make it, like, actually available to play on modern hardware without... Like just for normal people that are, get sick and tired, be like, "Oh, just use enhanced edition, blah blah blah," and like they have a really big issue with it for some reason. Okay, sure, whatever. A remake is not necessary. The game still plays really fucking well in 2024. The voice acting is still really fucking well in 2024. Like that still holds up, honestly, better better than the remake does. We're in a fucking HD collection. 
Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> the combat looked jank as fuck, and not in a good way. And it just... So PT came out, like, 10 years ago. I think it was, like, 2014, wasn't it? Like, maybe? And, I, I thought it was, like... Yeah, August yeah. 12th, 2014. Yeah, 10 years ago. And that was a, like, teaser for a Silent Hill game that did not come out. So, like, it wasn't even, like, a finished product. It was just, like, oh, like, we're just gonna do this as a, as a little tease of what's to come. That game looks better than the remake does. Like, by a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really impressive. Yeah. How... It's really impressive how no one gave a shit about Silent Hill 2 Remake. Oh, shit. Oh, got him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just, I I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, in my opinion, they sh they, they should have like re they should have like remade like the first game. Yes, that I was about to say. Like, if they're gonna remake a Silent Hill game, they should remake the first one. If there was a remake of the first, even if it was like this, where it's like more like action focused, I'd say okay. Like, Silent Hill one, it's a good game. It has aged a lot, especially in terms of voice acting alone. If you're gonna remake a Silent Hill game, that's that's one where if they wanted to do it, I would say, okay, go for it. Just don't make it shit. Who doesn't need one? Or, and also, I still want Chuck's Blue Team with it, but we'll get to that. Or if, no, no not one. Yeah, if, if they were to make like a Silent Hill one like remake first, then then maybe two could have been on the cards. Yeah, because I mean, they sort of made like a pseudo remake with Shattered Memories, but they're also just very different. And also you can't really play Shattered Memories anyway without like just emulating it because it's so fucking expensive. Oh, yeah. It, it, the PS, the PS2 version, I think, goes for, goes for like either like 50 or 90. The Wii version of that game is even more expensive. Oh, yeah. And that like the game was like pretty much made for the Wii to like to some degree so I think there's Oops. also like a PSP port but I'm probably misremember mis I can't speak I can't yeah there was a PSP port huh Oops, port Oops, ups, 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 ups. <laughs> okay uh I didn't like how James uh, looked in the remake he looked like a completely different person James Sunderland in the remake uh, he looks like someone that would, like, he looks and acts like someone who would, uh, like, you see someone that, like, gives up their spot in a bus for, like, a handicapped person, he runs over and takes it before the handicapped person can get these faster. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's, like, my only gripe with the, that's my only, like, uh, gripe initially, because they went on to change his, like, change how he looked a little bit. Yeah. He just looks like bootleg Leon. Damn. Uh, like, like actually. Like, because, I mean, obviously they're trying to go for, like, a Resident Evil style of game for some fucking reason, even though the games are completely different, other than the fact that they're style of horror, but... Like, Resident Evil, yes, it's horror, but it's also, like... It has a more, like, comedic tone. Is Even some of the like more serious games like two like they're not like super serious all the time and still have some like action elements it's not meant to feel like you're like entirely helpless and hopeless against the situation and also like you're a trained specialist like like in the fucking military or even just like a specifically like assigned to rescue the president's daughter naturally you're gonna be pretty fucking good at holding weaponry and shooting bitches why the fuck is james sunderland doing like lead pipe combos on, on monsters <laughs> it's like all right i've prepared my entire life for this bullshit hey, that's stupid okay well, now we can, I guess, we can, like, segue into, like, current thoughts. So we, we were, we were, all, we were already kind of, like, teetering over there, so. <laughs> it's teetering on the edge. Yeah, teetering on the, on the edge. Edging. Okay. All right. 
Uh, let's let's talk about character designs. Like we we've seen everyone, seen how they look. I I like these designs except for Eddie. They they. They're... Oh my God! Why is Angela not fuckable? This is bullshit. Um... This is a this is a sweet baby egg scam. I... We need to stop Bloober Team. We need to stop the woke. Uh, I I knew that was coming. <laughs> Fucking, if you want to have a fucking, like, laugh out loud session going through Steam, just go to the Silent Hill 2 discussion board and just see how many fucking idiots only hate the game because they can't fuck Angela because she looks ugly. It is fucking funny. Damn. <laughs> it's like, I can't play a survival horror game because I can't get a boner anymore. I think it's need to go outside. And, well, like, that took everything from me! You need to go outside and just, you know, stop watching porn for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's not some she's not supposed to be a sex symbol, I, I, idiots. Yeah, she's she's kinda supposed to be the opposite, it, actually. It, it, yeah, like do you not like fucking read the room uh, when you play the game? Do you not, you know? Look at context-sensitive areas. <laughs> Are you five? Tangle sensitive ass back to Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I just I like the character designs, uh, especially uh, with the uh, Maria. Uh, it's different, but I I see complaints to. Know how like she's not you know she's not sexy enough which I a part of me like I understand I can understand that but uh, I you know what I was I was even kind of with them it's like yeah that, that, that could be a little bit just a, just a hit more sex appeal uh, not not too much uh, like some of that's comparable to the original but I don't know I I, I it, the design grown on me it's just it's kind of like more colorful if you ask me. It, I, th I think I think what people hate is that they made Maria's skirt longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my issue is not really anything to do with, like, the designs themselves, for the most part. It's just, like, the actual, like, graphic fidelity. It feels... <sighs> it feels, like, almost random. Like, some characters look finished and some don't. Oh yeah. The, oh, th did you see that one like shot of like Angela, you know, where you know she's at the graveyard? She kind of looks like she has like kind of have like chubby cheeks, but like yeah, it's, it's like she has like it's like she has like a mouthful of burger in her mouth. Yeah, she's she's like a fucking like she's like she's one of the she's like Alvin in the Chipmunks or like she's like she's <laughs> she's the Chipettes just having like nuts in her mouth, <laughs> just trying to store them for the winter. Uh, but yeah, this. That one little oddity aside, I think, I think it, I think it's fine, but yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know why they, they just showed that up, and a lot of people's like, yeah, this game is so over. Look how, look at her design. It's real. It's just like it's just one unflattering angle. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's not really like the designs themselves are not really that bad. It's just the animations and the rendering is not really doing them any favors a lot of the time, especially in terms of the animations. I I got myself prepared for this because I watched the like full like gameplay trailer today. Holy crap, some of those animations are fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like the one where it's like it's James and Laura talking like in in the room with like the really fucking butchered day of night theme because it, it sounds so fucking dog shit dog ass <laughs> and james is like not even making like eye contact with laura it's like oh you d uh, can you give me mary's letter it's like it's like he's on like uh, that's man they cut that out <laughs> it's it's weird the fucking the, the whole like marketing was not good and uh when they showed like shots of, of the game like it's Remember when they showed up like a fucking like combat reveal trailer? It's like, what, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh yeah, the combat animations are some of the worst I've ever seen. 
like even in the game like the full gameplay trailer there's like points where like there's like blood splattering from the enemies and james is missing them <laughs> i will say that when when the like the splatter system uh works it, it, it looks good it looks you know, pretty cool it works until it like splatters from the opposite part of their body <laughs> but it's just not finished and also i mean i do want to give bloober team some of the benefit of the doubt because yeah konami is ass and they're probably like whipping them like yo make this fast as fuck boy do it but also i mean bloober team hasn't really made good games before now a lot of people like cry of fear that's not bloober team <laughs> that's not bloober team no I that, thought that was bloober team, team. Bloober Team made layers of fear. Layers of fear. That, layers of okay, okay, okay. I, I and now's their now's their PT ripoff uh, with a, an epic a epic mechanic where a baby runs into a wall and makes Germa lose his fucking mind. Oh yeah, I remember that. Well, fuck. I'm sorry. Sorry, I got the names mixed up. Cry of fear and layer of fear. Uh, oopsie daisy, easy mistake. <laughs> Both games are a harsh jar with a fear at the end. Yeah, yeah. Oopsie poo poo. <laughs> Oopsie poopy poopy. Yeah. Stinky. S stinky poo. <laughs> oh, uh yeah, you were you were talking about like the butcher day of night theme. Uh I know Akarayama Oka posted like on a sort like a few like teasers of like a like a few tracks of the remake. I haven't listened to them because I wanna go in blind listening to the new score. But have you listened to them? I have only listened to the music in in combination with what's being presented in the gameplay trailer. So only just how it's presented like in the game and what they showed. Mm -hmm. And it is fucking annoying. How annoying. I swear to god, every single like Okay, so let me let me go back to that one cutscene where James is talking to Laura. Mm-hmm. In the base game, it's just the day of night combination as it's like easing into a reveal of the monster. Which you somewhat know it's coming, but you don't know for sure because the music's not really drawing much attention to it until it's already there. In the remake, what they do is that Laura's like, I gotta, I gotta get something. You need to get it for me. It's in the back. And it pans to the door and it just plays this musical sting like. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, are you. Shut up. <laughs> you fucking obvious piece of shit. Like, you draining every single, like, possible, like, sense of dread to be like, oh, okay, something's gonna happen. All right, cool. All right. Let me, let me whack them 10 times with the lead pipe while I play as this, like, James Sunderland fuckboy. James Sunder looks like he'd like be in like a college frat house when he's like twenty six. Isn't he like canonically like twenty eight or like twenty nine? He's not looking good for his age. <laughs> oh yeah, that that reminds me. Uh, with James's design in the original, he he's kind of built. You, you don't you don't see it, but he he has he has. Oh a, yeah. He he has a build to him. Bro goes to the gym, but. In the remake, he's kind of like, I don't know. It's not, it's not, what you call this, like a twink resurrection? Is it that the opposite of twink <laughs> death? Like, like what, what do we call that? I <laughs> personally would die inside if I wanted to like actually say that he's a twink. So I'm not going to go with that. But he just looks, he just looks crusty. Yeah. And he just definitely does not look like he works out. Whereas James Sunderland in the old game looks like he at least kind of worked out. Which makes sense, because it explains why he would still be able to like fend off monsters, albeit sloppily, because he's not a fucking like professional. Yeah, he's not. He's just he's just in the wrong place at the wrong time and he's using weapons that he's given. Which also adds to the horror and why the fixed perspective makes sense. Yeah, I take it you're not a fan of the over-the-shoulder perspective. 
Especially not how it looks in this game. I, I feel like it can work. It just it just needs some tweaking. It can work if they're going for something that's not Resident Evil Remake. Resident Evil Remake just goes against what Silent Hill is to me. Where it's like just too combat focused. Mm. Especially in the especially in the remake where James is doing like fucking combos of this fucking pipe, and then like 360 no scopes a fucking like crawler. I want to see the button combo kids come up with some stupid ass shit for the remake. I I can at least say like like uh, the environments like the like the fucking uh, apartments before you enter. I say like they look great. They look spot on you know, to the original. They keep the same spirit. I'd like to say, like, the fucking, what's, the fucking Silent Hill game that we got earlier this year was kind of like a teaser of, like, of this game's, like, Oh, fidelity. uh, fuck, I don't even remember the name of I don't remember the name either, but I do remember. Wasn't it the short message? Yeah, 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 the short message, yeah. I, okay. I, rem I remember liking it, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty alright Silent Hill game. I'm not gonna install it just in case Konami pulls another PT, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah, I think the environments uh, look great, it, and uh, I, I feel like the hospital could, could just use a little bit of tweaking. Well, I, they I, would, they would look great ten years ago. Ten years. But ago? in the co in the context of like PT and even honestly short transmission, there are environments in that game that look better than Silent Hill Two. Hmm. It's just. It's too drab, but not in a way that's, like, very contrasting, like the OG Silent Hill 2 was, especially on, like, PS2 graphics or uh, Enhanced Edition graphics. And also, because it's no longer fixed perspective, there's, like, no framing, because you just control where the camera moves. I, I didn't really think about the framing thing. Yeah, that's right. Oh, they, yeah. They, they did some really cool uh, things. Even back in the first game, once you uh, transition to, to the other world, uh, how the camera just, like, moves around, like, Harry. Like, oh, yeah. That's cool. They did that, like, in uh, in the apartment, you know, when you, like, step into that one laundry room, when you have to, like, you know, put something down, like, in a garbage chute. I find that really cool. But Yeah, there was so much purpose to it being fixed perspective. That that's like, a lot of people who hate fixed perspective to see, like, oh, it's outdated, uh, you don't need to use it for, like, any reason whatsoever. I mean, if you don't like fixed perspective, like, you just can't enjoy it, that's fine, I understand that. But there is so much intention and reason behind why Silent Hill 2 did it, and I feel like if you can just get used to it, which doesn't really take that long, you can understand why they chose to do it that way really fucking quickly. It's not just an outdated thing, which a lot of, even in interviews, because I saw the interviews, which I'm willing to bet the devs who were forced to do that interview were like just reading off the teleprompters. They were like, oh yeah, we, we're just updating the gameplay. I'm like, what updating? It doesn't need to be updated. Just, put, just get game from PS2, just, just remaster it a bit and just put on the new PS2. Yeah, put on the PS5, it'll have games. Well, we have Silent Hill 2, uh, the remake coming, it's it, 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 it games. No, wait, it's, it's coming to PC too. The, it, the, spec, the specs, uh, <laughs> the specs for oh, the PC version. Yes, let's, please, let's talk about those <laughs> goddamn specs. Uh, Holy shit, what the fuck. Okay, so... For a game that looks like it could have belonged on the fucking, like, early PS4, why the fuck would you need a 2080 RTX to run that shit? And you know for a damn fact, it's gonna require way more than that. Do you think it... Because recommended think is, like, the new minimum. Do you think maximum is gonna be, like, 4080? <laughs> I think maximum is gonna be impossible to grasp by human hands. Let, let me check now because uh oh that's that's Marvel. It was about to play some Marvel baby. Uh, uh Silent Hill 2. Because the game's getting close to a release date and uh, and let me Jane. see. Honey. Uh shut shut up! <laughs> it, 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 it it was playing. <laughs> okay, that's no, so 
Okay, wait, no. Yeah, you're right. The, that's the recommend. I thought the minimum was the 2080. I thought that was minimum. Uh, minimum is a 1070 Ti. I mean, it's like I said, recommended is just the new minimum now for like AAA games because so many AAA games are optimized like shit. Well, um, well, I pre-ordered my copy. I'm I'm playing it on the PS5 because there's no way I can play this game currently with my rig. Uh, I I know I know they announced it, that they're gonna have both a performance and a fidelity option. You know, performance 60, fidelity 30. What if you turned it from like performance to fidelity and it looked the exact same? I'll I'll I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a little miffed. <laughs> there are a lot of games that are like that though yeah. even games that i really like like uh one of my favorite examples of like like especially with like ray tracing because ray tracing in a lot of games just does not matter and with hitman 3 like i love that game to death but if you turn on ray tracing that game you're a fucking idiot because it literally is the exact same because the game already has like kind of like ray trace shadows just like from like the art direction alone so if you're if you're turning that on you're just putting more stress in your machine for no reason damn which i mean to an extent is good because it showcases that the game is like really well designed in terms of its art that you don't need to have everything on like the highest possible settings for it to look good like that's kind of what you want i don't see silent hill 2 being one of those games where you can just like have not all the settings on and it will look good mm. uh, i can imagine like the, the lowest end settings and we'll kind of make it look like a slightly like better version of the ps2 game and it'll still probably run like shit on a lot of stuff maybe ho ho i'm just hoping i'm just hoping for an optimized experience i'm just hoping oh uh did you see the pre-order bonuses Oh yeah, fucking you want to have a fucking dog mask? <laughs> yeah. I I think that's I think that's really really dumb. This what You know, you could just put these in the game for unlockables, but I doubt people would use them for like, you know, for Silent Hill 2 an immersive horror experience. Well, yeah. I mean, who is that for? Cuz Silent Hill 2 like they're talking about how, oh, we need to make this for modern audiences that have never played Silent Hill 2 before. Which, again, I'm taking that from the uh, interviews that were probably forced onto the developers that didn't actually believe a word that they said. But if that's the case, why are these here? <laughs> what, 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 what do you gain from this? So people could just put on the dog mask and be like, the dog did it. The, the, this is this is dog hill two. Yeah, Skibbity hill two. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. That's that's what you're calling this uh this remake. You're calling it Skibbity Hill two. Yeah, because it belongs in the toilet. Damn, you, yeah, you didn't have to do it like that. Well, that, oh, I I did. Well, digital art book and digital soundtrack is pretty cool, but hey, there's a thing called YouTube.com and uh, Google Images. <laughs> yeah. I can always go to the. I can always, get nanaed. I can always rely on the Silent Hill 2 Wikia for 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 art stuff. Exactly. Now, now if this was like I don't know, like physical. Uh, uh, that's different. No, that would be different. The art book, uh, like a physical like item. Yeah, that would be cool. But hey, at least you get to play the game like two days early. Oh god, I, I gotta fucking I gotta dodge spoilers like a madman then. Or maybe maybe like trick <laughs> spoilers, up. what's gonna be different? It's just gonna be the same story but worse. maybe, but who knows? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> that's that's a scary part if I like change the story to make it even worse. Than like just the the Bloober team retelling it, especially because we know how well Bloober team is when it comes to representing mental health. Reference the medium. Oh boy, oh that that ending just still does not sit right with me. It's just like, <laughs> I I feel like it, yeah, if you want to do an ending uh, like something like that, yeah, sure, but come on, man, you gotta be more tactful. Come on. 
you have to realize that you're like walking on eggshells, so you need to like actually think about what you're doing. There wasn't a lot of thinking going on when they made the media. It, 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 here's here's the fucked up thing. Silent Hill 2 have those themes, multiple themes, and the game. Oh yeah. It, the game is like 23 years old, and it does them. It, it it fucking talks about these themes massively, massively. I can't speak, but you get what what the fuck I'm saying. Like this is it's a game from 2001. How do you does fuck up this than... bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does better than most games now in terms of some shit like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forget I forget the writer's name. It's something Japanese that I can't pronounce for shit. But I, Yeah, I, I think I, know I think he was the writer for all four of them? Like the like the first four Team Silent games, I think. I, I could be very wrong though. I thought they dipped in like, uh, like created like Siren. Was Siren? Like before I, four? I think is, uh, I think it's uh, a, a little before or maybe a little after four because I was watching like uh, this one YouTuber saying like after like Silent Hill two and maybe like during the development of three, most of the devs uh, went off to do their own thing. And... Okay, yeah, yep. No, that checks out, because uh, he wrote 1 through 3 and did not write 4. I see. Because... Yeah, yeah, 4? I played a little bit of 4, and 4 is a different kind of game. Like, I don't have an opinion on it yet, but I'll say, I say it's, it's, it's interesting. It's quite inter it's interesting. It's very different and it... very polarizing. Yeah, it's very different. It, they say they want, like, you know... There's a, lot, there's a lot of people saying, like, oh, they want, like, do so they want to take the series into a new direction or like how silent hill 4 wasn't wasn't going to be like originally a, a silent hill game just like oh, it's interesting it's it's an interesting game i want to spend more time with it okay maybe uh backlog saturday <laughs> yeah the yeah the, by the way stream ba silent hill 3 yeah, for backlog saturday tune in tonight or a few, uh well i'm recording this uh, saturday of uh, uh, i'll probably upload this maybe in a few days but uh Y'all already know. Okay, I guess we could talk about, like, what made the original, like... No, wait, no, wait, no, not... I, I skipped one! It was comparing the original, but... Wow! No, but, I mean, we were kind of... I mean, we were kind of already doing that. Yeah, we were kind of doing that, so I guess we could just, you know, just hop and skip over to, to why what made the original so special. Atmosphere. Music. Soul. Just tone. Soul. <laughs> Idea. Creativity. Passion. An actual wanting to create a video game. It's fucking crazy. It, it really is a crazy game. And you know what? That whole lineup in 2001, we got Jack and Daxter, GTA 3, I think we got the first Devil May Cry game as well. 2001 was just... Mm. Oh yeah, it was a really good fucking year for video games. I wasn't even a thought, yeah, I was probably like, oh yeah, this shit bangs. And in 2024, we got Concord, so... And we're catching up. Uh, uh, but, 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 you're looking at a half glass full perspective. We got Astrobot. We do have Astrobot. We got... I, I will get. I will give you Astrobot. <laughs> My son, we... he's winning. We got Wukong, which I've heard is fine, but <laughs> not something that I would play. It's just that people are, people are losing their shit over it because it's not woke. It's... So therefore, it's like the best game ever made. It's... We got Spartan Zero, we got Blop 6, we got Sonic X Shadow Generations. I still think that's a really, really unfortunate name because <laughs> <laughs> just a little five year old Timmy just wants to search up Sonic X Shadow Generations, but he, but he forgot to type in Generations. Oh, t Timmy's oh, well, see if, if you think about it, there <laughs> actually will be more searches of just Sonic X Shadow the game. So in actuality, I think it was an intentional move by Sega to hide that the Sonic X Shadow ship and art exists by burying it. You're, you may have a point, you may be on something. <laughs> I'm certainly on something, yeah. Uh, what made the original so special to me is just like, it's really the character of James, because I can like, really relate 
you know, to the character. Uh, I'm not saying like you know, I, like you know, I I I smothered my own wife with a pillow. No, no, I did not <laughs> tr trust. Uh, Spoilers. <laughs> just get, just, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a fucking tw twenty year old game. J yeah, J yeah. Jaden can handle it because like he lives under a rock in the best way, so he doesn't get spoiled by anything. Yeah, but like I I, I tend to. I'll, there I know that I'll probably, probably put like spoilers. We're talking about Silent Hill 2. Play the game you have an experience. So, so yeah, they, they, they watched this video. They knew the risk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just like if there's like a lot of like little things uh, that got me like like how the characters are designed. It's like also uh, hold on real quick on the topic of spoilers. If you're already clicking on a video about the Silent Hill 2 remake, not only have you been probably spoiled by playing the game or knowing about it, the fucking remake spoils what happens anyways. Uh, oh yeah. Reap what you sow! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah make, yeah, make was, it more obvious, why don't you? Yeah, I was disappointed, it's just like, gameplay is cool, we finally got, like, gameplay, 20 minutes of it, which I thought, okay, that's, that's a little absurd, uh, like, uh, uh, tone, tone it down a bit, please, but... Fuck. No, no, it... You don't want to like spoil it. Uh, but my, you... my, my, might as well just have a cutscene where like James, like the the cutscene where like James gets mad at m fucking Maria and Maria's like, oh please, you're smothering me. Shut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, wait, I just I just saw something. Do you think the form of a wish will be? DLC in the future. Uh, I don't know if they even care enough to do that, because I don't even think the game itself is finished, let alone the DLC. So. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what the forty-eight hour early access is. Like, hey, can you play test the game for us, please? You're just really just cooking the shit out of these guys. <laughs> well, that's what I do. You Especially do. for a game that I'm passionate about, and was like a good sign of like what gaming was like in the 2000s, and how in terms of like big, big tech gaming, there's been a little bit of a drop off in terms of priorities. Yeah, but uh, going back to what made the original so special, uh, like I said, with the character and like the little moments, uh, I, there's like this one scene. Uh, the fucking, uh, the, like, the jail scene, where Maria was, like, behind bars. It's, it's really the lighting, like, on Maria's face. And, like, how she was acting, I was like, oh. Like, I, I, like, I felt, like, cold. Like, I was not, I was not happy with that. <laughs> Especially when she... More had... cinematic than, like, most, like, wannabe cinematic games coming out now. Oh, yeah, it's just, just especially you know, when she hits you with the, I'm not your Mary, I was like... I do not feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fucked up because uh like when you see her, it's like you can't see her eyes or a little bit of her mouth, but it kind of looks like she's smiling. But when she says like I'm not your Mary, it kind of looks like that she she is sort of like she's trying to keep that smile, but her face just like straightens. So it's just like oh no, like that little subtle thing. It's like I'm not okay with that. Stop. There's, there's also like the the last the last couple of moments of that game, like I didn't want. Oh yeah. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cried, but uh, but but before that, <laughs> uh, the the final boss, I will not lie to you, like I didn't want to say it in front of you because you were there when when you when you first saw me like beat the game and, and I was crying, but uh, that boss uh, offended me. In a good way, in a good way, it's because of the character design. Because you know, Maria just like, oh, oh, so you want me to be Mary? Like, all that, and she's like, and she looks like sick. She looks like definitely like sick, kind of like how Mary was. It's it's just like, the the way that it's kind of like mocking James in a way. It's just it's it's sort of like fucked up, but it's like, oh, like. That's like conniving, but in a good way. But it kind of affected me a little bit because, you know, with my job, I had to like, you know, take care of like family and just like, 
it kind of like hits me in a in a sort of like sort of in a weak spot so it's like damn okay game you didn't have to like go for a little blow like that <laughs> but yeah it, it, was, it was just really compelling yeah i mean that's what all good art does is challenge you to some degree yeah like like uh, like throughout the game i've like uh, i uh, i was like i was like it was like a mystery it's like damn uh, james like what what is going on it's like fuck i, I want to find mary too it's like wait a minute james uh, no come, uh, come on uh, come on don't don't do that don't do that <laughs> uh, wh why'd you do it james <laughs> why'd you do it to her what are you thinking what are you doing N not only that just like I, I keep fucking gushing about the music and it's just like it's a good it's a great soundtrack it's especially when especially when, after the revelation like we found out like James to uh, killed Mary the the song blank fairy plays is like uh actually it plays true uh, no no blank fairy when you like uh you know go when you go through like the fucking like apartment the rusted down yeah 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 yeah, yeah uh it, yeah it's just when that song plays, it just, like, it felt like a literal gut punch. Uh, the song's just like, oh. It's just like, it's just, there's like a void when, when that song plays. And it's, it's a, I, I gotta stop stuttering, man. I got, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sorry. I just get a little, I get a little excited talking about this soundtrack. It, it's, if blank er, TLDR Blank Fairy is the song that, like you know you fucked up song. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it felt like. It just feels like like everyone's like like I know what you did. <laughs> yeah, if you if we haven't stressed this enough, the music is very fucking important in the Silent Hill franchise. Very, very fucking important. Like all the way like from like the first game. Like, the first game, the soundtrack is, like, pro honestly, like, the best part, what makes it so resonant. Especially because it's doing a lot of legwork that the rest of the audio department is not able to hold its own with. Yeah, it, it, that's, that's funny when you mention that. It's just, like, yeah, but, yeah, there's, like, horror games on the PS1, and they have, like, these soundtracks. But Silent Hill, when you, when you first hear the soundtrack, it's, it's just different. It's so it's like different from like what you expect like in Resident Evil or like any other like horror game for the PS1 or anything of that generation. Yeah, and it was very influential cuz a lot of people when it like started picking up steam and it became really popular, a lot of people wanted to rip it off. And it originally said it was supposed to be the Resident Evil the rip off or clone. But what? Exactly. I, I got a lot to say about why this game is so special, even, and every time I play it, I cry. I cry like a bitch. <laughs> I do. It, it, but, you know, you're not supposed to admit that because I'm a grown man. Men are not supposed to be in touch with their feelings and all that. Yeah, but, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, yeah, just, like, the endings, like, each... Yeah, there's like multiple endings and like the way to get them is like it's really fucking cool. And the first time I I played, I got that in water ending. Uh, th 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 thank you, Logan. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of I kind of manipulated it a little bit to make sure you got that one because that one's like the the most fucked up one. I thought it's like oh shit, I even. I was like, oh, look at my health, I got a heal. And it's like, no, nah, save your heals, save your heals. I was like, oh, okay, maybe there's like a big ass, like, important boss fight. And I was like, <laughs> no, nah, I've been, <laughs> I've been manipulated. <laughs> <laughs> I got played. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you want to talk about fucking acting? How, how about the fucking, the letter that Mary was like reading? I was like, damn, bro. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people when they first play Silent Hill 2 will think that the acting sucks and they have no idea what they're talking about because a lot of it like is very intentional. And any normal person will realize that like not too long into the game. 
yeah, like, I, I was one of those people when I first played the game, it's like, oh, it's the 2000s, like, you know, you know mid, mid 90s to like early 2000s uh, games that have like voice acting, they're not the best, they don't have the best dub. And no, no, I, I, I could go on and say, like, I, this is probably like maybe a hot take, but I think Silent Hill 2 has like the best vo voice acting in any video game that I ever heard. It just, it sounds so natural. Uh, like, the best example, like, I can reference is, like, this one movie. It was on Netflix. I don't know if it's a Netflix uh, exclusive. Uh, it's, uh, fuck. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of ending things today because the, how the dialogue was written in that movie, it just feels, like, natural and realistic. There's, like, these subtle pauses and, like, these sudden, like, deliveries. This is, like... Wait, like, how we're conversing now, we're... We're just talking like normal everyday people. Like when you act, yeah. you you know you have to like act and like project more. But in Silent Hill 2, it's it's fucking grounded, and that's why that's why I, I could get like immersed. Like these are like actual real people. I'm seeing like having a conversation, or like real people are like actually having like the worst of it. it poor Angela. I, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I thought was, when she like you know goes you know commit slip inside like I try to go up there but no the game wasn't letting me it's like no what the fuck please <laughs> please and, and yes it's like let that shit go bro just keep playing the game it's over <laughs> it's it's over it's it's done you're done <laughs> madam madam look at me you're done <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know if I would say. Silent Hill 2 has the best voice acting, but it has the most purposeful, is what I would say. That's good. It's like there, there are some instances where the voice acting is not great, especially in the Born from a Wish DLC. But uh, oh, the, uh, you talking about the ghosts? Maria, listen to me. James, he's a bad man. Very <laughs> bad. Poo poo. I wanna, I wanna like. Just hit remake James with like a rolled up newspaper. Speaking of like remakes and remasters, I I feel like since we're we're on the topic of voice acting, we have to talk about the HD collection. And this embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not good. Uh, there's... <laughs> I mean, what 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 else is there to even say? This is like I just want like. To compare and contrast the two just real fast before you move on. Uh, there's the, the, the again, I want to reference the, the fucking jail scene, the I'm not your Mary scene. The, the way, the way, uh, in the fucking HD collection, the way the actress uh, says, I don't remember her name. I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Whoever. Uh, fucking, yeah, that's her name. Yeah, Miss Whoever. I'm sorry. Uh, the way, the way that she says, say, it's just, it sounds, uh, it sounds so forced. I'm not your Mary. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Like, leave. Leave the booth. <laughs> no offense, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's 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 just me just really like in the original games and acting. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, a lot of the voice acting in the remake isn't really that good either. So I'm just like, okay. Yeah, but it's it's. I can say it's a it's a improvement compared to the HD collection. It's. Better. <laughs> I mean, fucking the Silent Hill HD collection couldn't get through the entire game without having typos in the subtitles. So I mean, that's not saying much. Were there typos in the original? Oh no way! It's because it was probably because uh, in that build of the game it was using like like a alpha or like beta of the game since they lost their original sources of Silent Hill two and three, right? Uh, I think they literally had to like remake most of the game from scratch. So. Oh. And then Kami was like, oh, what? You lost the source code? Well, we're not going to increase development time. Fucking get to work, bitch. They should honestly, like, hire Bluepoint Studios for the, for those remasters. They, they did it for MGS, but they couldn't do it for Silent Hill. No. Nope. that a shame. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, like, really the, the HD collection just, like, it lacks subtlety if if i were if, if that's like the proper word for it it's yeah it, which i mean so does the remake 
Hey. <laughs> like, I've, like, especially with the... There's another thing with Angela. <laughs> like, uh, with their boss fight in the original, you see her... You hear her, like, uh, her, like crying, uh, which turns into, like, anger. She's, like, angry crying when she, like, kicks the shit out of, the, out of that boss and, like, lifts up the TV and just, like, smashes it over it. And it's like, yeah! Go, go get him! Uh, f fuck his ass up! Do it! In <laughs> the fucking HD you know, collection, you, the new actress, she doesn't even, like, uh, fucking, like, you know, grunts when she gets up. I think she, like, grunts for, like, for, like, two kicks. And just like, you know, just like, huh, when she just like drops the TV. It's like, it's like Omnom from Cut the Rope. <laughs> it's like, wow. And with Angela, it's like, with their story and the way how she wants to like, you know, gets her leg back. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's like, like, fuck, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why did they do that? Why did they have fucking... Why would they choose to do that? Why would they choose to have, like, new voices? I know there's I a... just, uh... I know there's an option I just to have didn't have the original, original files. And, the, I, unfortunately, the fucking uh, developers behind Frogger Returns didn't have very good voice actors. Do you want to talk more why uh, Silent Hill 2 is so special to you? Do, you? do you have any other comments? I mean, it's really just like a landmark in every aspect of a game coming together so perfectly and so purposefully. Like, it's not just that they're like fucking spectacular, but they work in tandem with each other so fucking well. Yeah. Like music, sound design, Gameplay, graphics, voice acting, story. It all just... It's all great, and it all fits together perfectly. Like, it's just... It's not only, like, very well-directed, but it's well-directed by someone who had a specific vision and knew what they wanted to do with it. And knew how it would work in a game sense. And not just be like, uh, uh... I don't know, I want to make money. What's a different time? Right. <laughs> I mean, we still got games for money, but I mean, there's at least a, more of a balance. Yeah. Well, uh, before we talk about the fun stuff, but I want to like you know shed some light on some like ways to play the original because yeah, we know but we're obviously you know talking about the remake. That this is why we're doing a little episode on it now. But you know, I I want you I want people to play like the originals. You know, Yo, same. The, before you play the remake, not the other way around. Uh, th yeah. So th for the PS2 version, yeah, you, I I like I like to play on original hardware. So yeah, there is PCSX2, which is fantastic, a great way to play those games. I like to play the original version. So so if you want to play like on original hardware, get the Japanese versions. They're they're like insanely cheap. You can play them in English. They have English subtitles. Yeah, there's the. Of course, so there's the Enhanced Edition, which just finished. It just had a fucking completion. It just finished. It did. Yeah, it's, it's fucking... It's... Here's the thing. Silent, the original Silent Hill 2 is Abandonware. Go download it. It's literally... You're literally playing a, a fine piece of gaming history for free. And it works with, with modern, like, you know, Windows and shit. And it has, like, Xbox controller support. So go! Get the fuck out of here! Let's go. Get out of here. Yeah, get, get out, man. Just... And also, Silent Hill 2 is one of the easiest in terms of abandonware, because it's like, if I remember correctly, it's not even like an ISO file that you download, like some of the other ones. Like, it's it's already just, like, ready for you to mod it. Because it... I know with Silent Hill 3, it like starts as like an ISO file. You have to like mount it, take the EXE, and then mod it, and then whatever, whatever. You can just skip all those extra steps. Yeah. Oh yeah, th there is the there is the Xbox ports, the the version I first played. I say it's pretty good. It's a it's a good port. There are some drawbacks compared to the PS2 since you know Silent Hill 2 was originally crafted for the PS2, but it's still a solid way to play the game. There's there's also the last option, you know, 
the degenerate option if you don't have a PC or a PS2 or original Xbox. You can, if you have like a next gen system like the Series X, you can always buy the HD collection. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I said the. That's why I said it's a degenerate way to play. But the degenerate option, it's the wrong option. If you do that out of all the other options, you're a fucking idiot, bro. <laughs> Just don't play Silent Hill 2 at all then. Fuck you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, here's the thing. If, yeah, it was it was released for PS3 360. Uh, it's unstable as shit, but with patches, the PS3 version runs a bit better, but you'll still have, you know, like, graphical oddities here and there. The, the original Xbox 360? No. It doesn't matter if you are smart, dumb, <laughs> ugly, pretty. <laughs> or Comic Sans uh, fonts. Yeah, like Silent Hill Ranch and Comic Sans. <laughs> but if you have, like, a Series X, uh, the game is backwards compatible. And it's uh, it has a locked 30 frames per second, and the performance is uh, you know you know of course it's gonna be improved because it's a next gen console, or uh, it's not even next gen it's current gen. What am I on about? Uh, so yeah, you get you get a steady performance with the trade off a more clunkier way to play Silent Hill 2. But if it's the only way, then yeah, do what you gotta do, or I don't know, just yeah, or just a, give up. Just to save up, just save up money for like a fucking like basic ass PC, and then you can fucking play Enhanced Edition, bro. You, fucking you, you don't even need like the most powerful gaming PC in the world. Like Silent Hill Two was like released. In, the PC version was released in two thousand two. You can like, yeah, I I was able to play it on my old computer that had a Nvidia GTS four hundred and fifty as its graphics card, and I was playing it in sixty FPS. So you can do it too, you imbecile. Damn. And insult them when we're just giving them yeah, choices. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna fucking. I want you to play Silent Hill 2. I'm gonna do that by insulting the shit out of you and making you hate me, and then you, you know, you never want to think about Silent Hill again. Okay. Now we, then now we're 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 about to be done. We're about to be done pretty soon. Uh, yeah. So 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 TLDW uh, Silent Hill 2 remake is a uh, big stinky poopy. And uh, I don't recommend it. I think it's big, stinky, poopy. No. Skibbity Fortnite. Shh. All right. I, I made it this far. I'm just gonna finish. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now now onto the fun stuff. Okay. Favorite character in Silent Hill Two. Favorite character. Yeah. Angela. That's based. That's really based. She's like. Kind of the like semi. Oh, sorry. I was. <laughs> I was. I was looking up Angela, and I didn't put in Silent Hill Two. So the first result I get is Talking Tom and Friends compilation. Angela, the digital queen. <laughs> oh my! It's myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway, yeah, this is, this is actually a Talking Tom and Friends podcast now. It's, it... God damn it! The, this is a brain rot channel now. Okay, yep. We're Elsa Gate here now. Ben. 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 Just everything from like design to voice acting performance to just how everything that was going on in her life was being portrayed it was just like honestly, there was nothing else like it that ever existed yeah it, like in in gaming period it's i never felt so like awful to play a character i was like damn bro can, can i give you a hug or do you want a hug bro not, not only that it's just like the, the boss room if you if you guys just like you know look around pay attention I'm just gonna leave the breadcrumbs there. Not gonna elaborate further. Yeah, there's there's some stuff that YouTube would not like us talking about regarding Angela, but you know that's fine. You guys will get the picture. Yeah. It's really, 
really fucked up shit there, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. For me, yeah, it's it's a tie between uh, it's a tie between like James uh, and Angela, because James I can I can like really relate with, and Angela is just like, oh my poor baby though. <laughs> okay. Uh, favorite character in Silent Hill. Period. Angela. I don't need to go into any further details there. <laughs> Although, I do really like Heather from 3. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's going to be a tie with Heather and James uh, again, because uh, uh, Heather just... She, she's kind, she's kind of like, you know, like... She's kind of like a scream protagonist in a Silent Hill game, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, that's the only way I can compare it. She's like, she's, she's like, she's like, she's like aware, just like, like, what the fuck? Is this bullshit happening? She's unlike, like any other like fucking like horror protagonist in like any game I've played. Because normally, normally you wouldn't have a character like that. It's like, oh, you know, fucking, you're not taking this shit seriously. It's just gonna deplete the tension. But oddly enough, like her just like saying like just snarky shit. Even in like if you're just like inspecting something and she's just like. Uh, this is like I'm just desensitized. I've seen worse things on the internet. Yeah, yeah like the, the girl has sass. That's that's yeah. why I like her. She 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 she's just a character. I I, I really like her. I really like her yeah. a lot. But not only that, it makes like the parts of the game that are like actually like fucking terrifying, like even more so because like Heather takes that shit seriously. Yes. It draws more attention to stuff like that than like pretending that, like oh this. Fucking piece of nightmare blood is like the most terrifying thing you'll ever see in your fucking life. That and plus, like, it, 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 she, she has like a, she has like a personality. Like, I'm not saying like James doesn't have a personality. He does, but and Heather is just like there, there's like more. Like, she has like a phobia of mirrors. She like act, she actively gets hot when someone's like talks ill, Ill about her dad. And there's like this one scene in like Silent Hill Three where Vince is like monsters. They look like monsters to you, and she's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's good stuff, man. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love me some Heather Mason. <laughs> yeah, she she's one of my favorites. You know, what? Yeah, she she's probably my favorite. She's best girl. Yeah, I, I like Heather a lot. Good choice. All right, top five songs from Silent Hill Two. Oh God. <laughs> Um, we're gonna be here for a while, folks. <laughs> Jane, you start. I'm forcing you to do it. What? No, uh, bitch! B bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you can't deflect that. I'm, I'm the host. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Uh, n number five. We, get, we got Laura's theme, which is okay. It's fantastic. Number four, White Noise. Uh, number three. Uh, Blank Fairy. That's it's a fantastic piece of music. Uh, the number two, Laura plays the piano, which is oh, it's it's it's, it's this shit's exquisite. Then last but not least, we have the Day of Night, easily the best song in the the no, no you I was gonna say best song in the franchise, but you know I'll I'll. I'll yeah, no, it's a type of the other song that I really like. Yeah, the, the day I'm nice is like it's, it's fucking, it's great. It's like, the song feels like it feels haunting, but at the same time, I feel so safe listening to that song. It's it's so good. yeah. It's kind of like a like a almost like a safe room theme, like a Resident Evil game. Yeah, right. And like one of the good ones, no, the stupid ones. No, it's your twin. Okay, I've got the soundtrack right in front of me. Because <laughs> I can pick, like, fucking 20 of these. Uh, number five would probably be... I'd say number five is probably Promise. Nice. Uh, four... Four... Fuck. You're, you're struggling. Jane, you're a bitch, dude. <laughs> Fucking slut. No. Hey guys, number Sunny Pixels here. 
Yo, that that's that could be Jane Pixels only fans. No, that's Dick and Pixels. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, number four would probably be. I'm gonna say Theme of Laura. Number three, Theme of Laura reprise. Number two, Betrayal. Number one, Day of Night. Oh, uh, oh! I thought I thought was I thought you were gonna say <laughs> you can't do that. You you just said the same thing twice, <laughs> but you said reprise. Oh, so it's different. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the reprise to the original. Yeah, that's. I cannot listen to that song. That that song makes my stomach hurt be because it, <laughs> it plays with the, them. Con the context of the song definitely elevates it. I will say that. Yeah, I was just like, man, I'm bummed. Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I possibly might have like a harder question for you. Maybe. Okay. Uh, top five songs from Silent Hill. Period. Mm. Okay. I, I'm having you start again, bro. No, 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 no. You use. It's your turn. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> that, that's your reaction when you first saw the fucking Silent Hill transmission. <laughs> I had to, I had to, I, I've had a fucking freak out. I had to tell myself everything was it's, fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> everything is fine. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, this isn't gonna be too hard. I'd say one through four is the exact same. I'd say number five is probably. I want to say either Clawfinger. Or Maternal Heart oh, from 3. Oh, Claw Fingers the shit. That is so good. Okay, well, number 5 is uh, the same Claw Finger. The, the shit. The shit bangs. The, I know, right? That's what the kids will say in the street. It bangs. Uh, for number 3. No, I mean, number. I just skipped them whole number. Okay. Wow. Uh, math ain't math. Then. Uh, fucking number 4. Uh, we have Not Tomorrow from the first game. Uh, where we see uh, the nurse oh, yeah. uh, cry, you know, blood. It's like, wow, this is a really effective scene. This, this shit is fucking sad. It's scary. It's just like, and the, holy fuck, this is a horror game. Uh, number three would be Room of Angel from Silent Hill 4. It, I know S Silent Hill 3 started the, you know, the trend of having like vocal tracks in, in the series, but Four with Room of Angel. That shit is so fucking good for some reason. It's just oh yeah, it's fucking fantastic. Uh, number two is a Silent Hill three save select theme. It's just how I feel about uh fucking about uh the day of night. The, the Silent Hill two, but here it's it's it's. I don't know why it, it make it makes me a little bit more like sad, it makes me a little more sad. But it's it's still good. That save theme is like really fucking goaded. When I, when I first played the game on PC, I was like, okay, let's just hurry up and save. But it literally had like this transition piece. Then it just starts playing the song. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was like, hold on now. I think I just sat there for like two minutes, just like in a trance. It's 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 so fucking good. It's so good that, that, that people like to you know slow down and put reverb on it and put it on YouTube. Yeah, my favorite genre. Yippee! Uh, number one. It's also, it's also TikTok's favorite genre. It is. It is really. Uh, number one, the day of night. Uh, still the uh, best song. Uh, point blank. Sorry. It's, the the Silent Hill like Silent Hill three save theme it was it was close it was really close but I'm sorry the day of night theme is just perfect I don't yeah. I don't remember how it sounds in the remake but I'm actually I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to hear what it sounds like I'm kind of excited to hear how most of the songs sound like in the in the baby oh baby 
Prepare for disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I, rem I remember that I was like, I think I was streaming so something like earlier this week. And I was like, who knows? I, I might like the Silent Hill you know, 2 remake. And it's like, Jaden, no, you won't. <laughs> 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 you, you said it in, in all lowercase too. I was like, oh, well, well damn. Okay. <laughs> uh, fuck. I, I forgot to include this uh, in the in the fucking like you know, Google Doc, the, the little talking points thing. But uh, oh, I was going to ask. Uh, any like other Silent Hill projects you're excited for? You know, like Silent Hill F, Townfall, all that jazz. I'm really excited to see how uh, Silent Hill Ascension ends. You guys want to do a Silent Hill Ascension stream? Just uh, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still going? I'm I'm I, looking this up. I think it's still going. Ascension.com. Continue watching chapter. No. Nope. Nope, Sound Hill Ascension has concluded. All episodes are now available to watch. Oh, I should do a- I should stream- uh, We should watch that! I wanna stream that! I wanna fucking stream that! But, uh, yeah. Oh my uh, god, this looks like absolute ass. Uh. Oh my god, this looks like shit. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Okay, so, yeah, any, uh, any other projects you're, like, excited for? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say like excited, but I'm curious about uh, Sound Hill F. Oh yeah, it is. It is different. It's interesting. Because that's just the one that like, it just seems like it has like the most potential to take the Sound Hill name and do something different with it. Because that's honestly what Sound Hill needs right now. It's just a different voice to do something different with it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we got, we sort of got that, a uh, sort of with the short message, sort of. Sort of. It was sort like, of. it was like, uh, thirteen reasons why. We... <laughs> I don't want to watch that show. I remember back in the tenth grade when niggas was just like, "Did you guys watch that new episode?" No, shut the fuck up. I want to watch regular show. All right, it's not good. I see. It, it's seen it, the first. The first the season shorts. is like borderline offensive, and then like from what I've seen of like, and I haven't like actually like watched the entirety of the show. I've just seen like bits and pieces of it to validate my opinions of our existing media that I hate. Because thirteen reasons why a book is shit. No, it was, it was uh, a book. Yeah, it started as a book and then got turned into a TV show. Okay, I can, I, I kind of want to see like how how offensive is this first season. It's pretty fucking offensive. On a scale of 1 to 10. 10. That bad, huh? <laughs> I mean, like, it literally, like, encourages, like, uh, teenagers to commit Minecraft in response to their normal problems, so... That's pretty offensive. What? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. I mean, there's Townfall, but the whole, with the whole Annapurna interactive situation, who knows how that's gonna go? Yeah, then, then you'd like say something like how like how the CEO was kind of being like a cunt and like everyone's just yeah, and then I, and everyone's like okay, and then they all left the fucking company. So Annapurna Interactive is like two people right now, Town and those two people have no idea how to run a gaming company because like they just, they're just nepo babies. Townfall, more like game development ball. Ha, 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 ha. More like the town fell off. L plus ratio. Damn. I don't know. I'm curious about F. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but I'm at least interested in it because it'll be something different. Cause Silent Hill really got into this problem, like from like Origins onward, where it just really wanted to capture the success of two. And just didn't really know how to do that. But I mean, there's so much potential you could have with Silent Hill to tell different stories. And as according with F, it doesn't even need to take place in a conventional Silent Hill environment, well, so... Yeah, it's, it, it takes place in fucking Japan. So. Yeah. In like, 1960s rural Japan. So, okay. like, anything's possible. And that's what makes Silent Hill so interesting. It's just that 
they're just kind of in a rut because Konami doesn't know what the fuck to do with it. Maybe they should give the IP to people who give a shit, but... Mm. And why would companies do that? <laughs> it seems like they're doing it. The, uh, I don't remember the guy's name who's, like, behind the project of Silent Hill F, but I see a lot of people, like, that got excited because he made, like, the... Did he, did he make like some like visual? Uh, he, uh, the, the the writer of Silent Hill F is the same writer of Higurashi when they cry. So, I, I think I've heard of that. <laughs> yeah, it's a. I'm not like super familiar with visual novels, but I know that that series is a big deal. I'll ask a mutual friend. Yeah, I mean, I, I know enough to know that like, there's a lot of talent. Behind it, behind it, and that's something. It's just a matter of where that talent goes to. Uh, yeah, Silent Hill F it looks uh, it looks really interesting. It's it's really cool to see like you know Silent Hill takes place like not in Silent Hill, I guess. Silent Hill Four and Short Message did that. I I think I think Origins did a little bit of that too, but I know Origins and Downpour just like. Yeah, we're going back to Silent Hill. Wait, Silent Hill also did that. The, it did it first because it took place in, like, fucking in Oregon. In Oregon first, and, like, we gotta go back to Silent Hill. <laughs> Time to go back. Yeah, I'll go back. But, yeah, I, yeah, I find that concept interesting because uh, Silent Hill could be, like, you know, it's like I said in the short message stream, it's, 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 it, it can be terrifying because Silent Hill is just no longer a state of place. It could be, like, a fucked up state of mind. Which is really, which is really interesting. I, I can't wait to see more. There's Townfall. Yeah. The, let's say we're showing like uh, they showed like Townfall, the like the like the teaser for it, you know, with the original Silent Hill transmission. And I won't lie, I, I was kind of hooked because the the aesthetics looked like oh shit, this this looks this looks serious. This this looks like this it looks serious. Yeah, 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 this shit looks serious. It looks like. Like everything's ex like at stake here, but now with the whole like unapproved thing, it's just like, uh, nah, uh, uh, I don't think it's gonna come out. <laughs> or it might, you know, just be like, like a really botched job though. We'll we'll, we'll just have to. See. Well, we have, we're here at our last question. Also, I do want to say, um. There's just, like, a lot of, like, spiritual successors to Silent Hill that I care about more. And I think there actually is, like, an upcoming one. I'm trying to find the name of it right now. Uh... Fuck. Was it, like... Slitterhead, I think? Slither... That's... That sounds about right. Slitherhead? Yeah, 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 Slitterhead. Yeah, and I think the one of the Silent Hill creators is involved with it. So, if I'm gonna talk about like what I'm most excited for in terms of like Silent Hill media, probably that one because that one has like the it has the most potential okay. to be cool, okay. and it could be shit. Who knows? And also, it comes out sooner, and we have more info about it than we do Silent Hill F. Because Silent Hill F, we still like barely know anything. Yeah, it comes out November 8th. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, there's a... Uh, there's our last question. You ready? I sure am. Thoughts on the upcoming Silent Hill 2 movie? Oh boy. Um... <laughs> So, with Return to Silent Hill, like, we don't even have, like, a trailer yet. We have, like, some, like... I think I have, like, an interview. Well, no, but, the, like, the trailer's out. It's out? Yeah, dude, remember? The, the, they had the whole, like, Silent Hill, like, transmission. They they show gameplay of... They show gameplay of uh, Silent Hill 2. Then... Alright, we're gonna get a live fucking trailer reaction real quick. Do I just... I, my... Skip through it real quick. I'm, I'm... <laughs> You're just gonna skim through it. <laughs> I might as well just look look up the trailer too as a like a refresher. This this isn't it. Wait, it's from the. Oh, here we go. It's from the. Okay, same no, I guy found it. Who made the first Silent Hill movie. Yeah, I noticed it by the first guy. By the first guy. First guy by the first guy. 
Yeah, first guy by the first guy. Yeah, first yeah, guy yeah, by yeah, the yeah. first guy. What? Where the fuck? There, there was literally like a trailer here. What? Yeah, I found it. Ooh. Wait. Well, I, well, I can't. Well, I can't find it. It was just. It was just here. It was. Nope. Never mind. This is fake. It was like three yeah, months no, I... ago. <laughs> Why can't I find it? The lost media. Shut up. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm gonna continue to go off the fact that the. Yeah, but... Okay, yeah, I guess I guess this trailer box channel is just clickbait. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, duh, of course this is fake. This is like like fucking the witch. Anyways, fucking, I got fucking distracted as fuck right there. Well now I'm. Um, worried. I'll be interested to see how it is. Just based on the fact that. It's directed by the same person, and also the only music credit is Akira Yamaoka. Because one thing to keep in mind with the remake of Silent Hill 2, Akira Yamaoka is not the only person credited for the soundtrack. So that can oftentimes be a bad sign, especially if they're just guiding the soundtrack rather than actually making it. And honestly, even if they just do the same thing or they just literally reuse the exact same tracks, I'm totally cool with that. Because the music is already really fucking good, there's no need to change it. Yeah, the, I mean, they they also did that in uh in the in the original Silent Hill movie. Yeah. Where they use tracks from first, second, and a little bit of the third game. And also a little bit of the fourth game. They have a Wounded War song in there. Oh, I I gotta play more of the fourth game, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fucking Scooby Brain Rot. Yeah, and I don't really have any, like, opinions about the casting. Fucking, I know James is being played by Jeremy Irving. I haven't seen him in anything except fucking War Horse, which is not a good movie. But it's not really his fault that it's not a good movie. Would you rather be the guy from, like, who played Mike Spin in the FNAF movie? <laughs> uh, no, I would not, actually. <laughs> That, that that was not good. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, but I was not a fan of FNAF movie. Hey, but at least uh, FNAF 2 is going to be like an improvement from what people are saying. Hutchison. Josh Hutchison. They better not bring the fucking actress that played Vanessa back. No. <laughs> They're bringing that. I, I just looked up. They're bringing the actress back. <laughs> I, I, I didn't care for the child actress. It... No. The fuck it, okay. I expect child acting to be bad. It was still a really bad in FNAF, and yet the actress who played Vanessa was still the worst actor. Like, by far. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Like, because I, I, I was curious about watching a movie that I knew was going to be shit called Countdown, where she is, like, the, like, the main lead. If that's how she acts the entirety of that movie, I don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> that shit was actually frustrating. Anyways, back back to a different horror gaming movie. Yeah, it's, it's to... <laughs> yeah you f listen, it's, it's you and I in the same room. There's gonna be a FNAF detour at least once. There's been detours throughout this thing of ours. <laughs> well, not FNAF related until now, so that's progress. You're right. You're so right. Uh... Yeah. I feel like James in the remake should like just get like stuffed in a spring lock suit. And he should just belong in spring trap, so I'd have to look at him. Just looks for what looks for Mary in the fucking FNAF pizzeria. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mary, I'm here at our special place. The the We ate box. pizza all these years ago. <laughs> and then Eddie's there and he's just eating all of it. He's over at the the There's animatronics around? You're sitting here eating pizza? I've been sitting here it... all five nights with Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Forget you. Uh, <laughs> I. Hire me, Konami. Okay, okay. Uh, I. Actually, don't. I do not want to work for you. I know what your work conditions are like. I. I think visually. Visually, the, the movie you know, looks pretty good. They got the they got the opening shot you know, right. You know, it's it's just uh, I, I just got a little thrown off, like uh, how like James is like driving a Mustang GT from like 
it was the 2005 like model. of course you fucking thrown up by the car bullshit i'm, so, I'm sorry i'm sorry sh 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 shut up shut up <laughs> i guess like uh, this takes place in more like in the modern era because there's like speculation that uh that silent hill 2 takes place in the 1990s uh it's just yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I thought James would be driving like a fucking hoopty, not not some fucking, like, American muscle. <laughs> what if James drove the Cybertruck? See, I, I would've fucking crashed out my damn self. I would've just, I would've flew down there and just like, hey, you're inadequate. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and just fly back. <laughs> I just, we just need just to see a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I think they showed up how how Maria looked like, and I was like, Christ, you, you know, too much makeup. You look, you, you're so pale. You're, you're, <laughs> you're like white as snow. That's pretty good. But yeah, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. But also, th there was like a so-called leak on Twitter, like I think around a year ago, where it's just like. The, the Silent Hill 2 uh, script is leaked. They're talking about uh, how it was like following the game uh, to a T. I was like, okay, this is this is just what I want. Then how will James and Mary survive this and that? They they were bringing elements from like Silent Hill 4. I was like, shut the fuck up. That's not real. <laughs> Twitter leaks always credible. Yeah. Nuh uh <laughs> Well, yeah. That, that's that's all I have. And, uh, yeah, do you have anything else to say? Um, I want to, like, just walk up to remake James Sunderland and be like, he forgot something. And I just, like, stuff him in a locker. And then I, like, dab on him. And that's about it. Wow, you, you really enjoy bullying. <laughs> yeah, I just leave it that I really enjoy bullying. <laughs> Well, like, we're finished here, and, yeah, if it was fun having you on the show, I hope we yeah, have you back We if we talk about, you know, something, you know, funny like this again or something more, you yeah. know. And more importantly, we broke our record in terms of episodes of a podcast. Good job, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a little end thing. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> 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 um... But before I go, do, do you want to, like, you know, do you want to, like, plug stuff? Um, just, uh, go to Jacksepticeye's YouTube channel and ask him where to find me, and then you know where I'm at. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so I'll just plug for you, uh, fucking, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gug's here. Yeah, he he makes music. Go check that shit out. I'll link his stuff in the description. No, nah, oh. no. Nah, wait until it gets better. Damn. What, what are you, just, and then do it. Yeah, what are you, like, Eminem just, like, inflicting, like, just self-bullying because you think your music's not good or something? <laughs> yes, I'm the real Tom McDonald. Yes, I'm the real McDonald. Now, won't the real Tom McDonald please stand up? Please stand up. I was this close to using the Discord soundboard, but we haven't used it thus far, so I'm just leaving it alone. <laughs> yeah, we, we showed a lot of restraint, actually, uh, now I, I think I, about it. Yeah, I, the, the, there are times, but this time I was close. I was close. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, I could just I could just edit in the, the memes and while someone's just listening, while they're just, like, walking down the street, it's just like, what the fuck am I hearing? <laughs> are walking down the street. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just walking down the street with their fucking like AirPods on, and they just hear like just like skibbity this uh, Ohio dad or just like stupid uh, fucking <laughs> memes. Oh, that's gonna get censored, but who cares? Uh, um, but yeah, you, you guys don't even make it to the end anyway. So yeah, uh, thanks, thanks for coming out. Thanks for, for listening. Oh, what's up? Oh, nothing. You didn't hear that. Oh. Uh, there was dialogue there. It's gone now. Yep. 
That's okay. The audience will hear it, and then they'll know what's up, and then they'll think, "Oh my God, Logan is so funny!" And then they'll type that in the YouTube comment box. Yeah. Uh, th- thanks for coming out. Thanks for listening, and I will see you guys next podcast episode. Uh, goodbye. Bye.